let's just for a second hypothetical. You no, know, let me tell you this. Let me tell you something. This. Watch this. Hold on, real quick. Uh, watch. I'm gonna try to do this for you. I'm gonna try to do this for you in real time. Hold on, real quick. I can't guarantee this gonna answer, but I hope he do. There's somebody from 97th Street, 97 East Coast. It's one of my homies. He ain't got nothing to do with industry. He don't know nothing about rap. Only thing he know about rap is I'm his homie. He don't know nothing about the industry. Watch this. I'm gonna hope he, hope he answer. Watch this. This finna f you up. Answer the phone, cuz. I'm going to try one more time. If you don't answer, we get back to it, and I'll just tell you the story without him answering. Okay. But this is so I ain't programming it. I want him to just say it, cuz. Your call. All right, look. Swear to God, on the set, my mama, mama, milk, dead homies, daughters, lokes, loved ones, everything I love and live for. It had to be maybe six, seven months ago. Out of nowhere, one of my homies, cuz, I, I am extremely inactive when it comes to gang banging. Like I say, I, oh, look, he called. Thank you, I'm so glad. <laughs> Neighbor. Neighbor. It's the deal, cuz. I need you to be, I, I need you to be 197% honest, right? I ain't finna say your name. I'm in the middle of an interview. All the people know is I'm calling somebody from my hood right now, right? Uh, uh -huh. About six, seven months ago, you called me and asked me, would I be interested with, in, interested in, willing to, or cool with being connected with what rapper? Cause they coming out here and they need to know some real. Quando Rondo. Oh, my mama, mama. I, all right, see you thanks, cause I love you. I love you too, bro. For death though, look. Oh, my mama, mama, cub, before his name just blew up with all this. This don't know nothing about industry, nothing about rap, no nothing. So he called me one day. I don't know what, he like, hey, cuz, you know who Quando Rondo is? I'm like, I know the name, cuz, because I knew about the King Von. That's the only reason. He like, hey, cuz, there's people, he like, he trying to, he be coming out here. He don't really be having nobody to be, he wants somebody to who you want to with, cuz. I'm like, hell yeah, cuz, plug it in. So he like, all right. He hang up. Now, mind you, like I tell you, I'm so shocked that it's coming from him because he's so non-industry. So a couple weeks go by, I don't hear from him on it. I call him like, cut, whatever happened? He like, oh, that was bullshit. Cut never hit me back. Blah, blah. And then, lo and behold, the next thing I ever heard about Quando was the Escalade, rest in peace, little pop. So the last time I talked to Cuz, I called Cuz and said, Cuz, you was trying to get me killed, Cuz. He like, what? What you mean? What you talking about? I say, cuz, Quando Rondo, he was like, oh, that's crazy. So just think about it. That leads me to believe yeah. whatever he went through at that moment, he might have been aware of that energy because my loke, my homie, who don't give a fuck about industry, he don't care about rappers or none of that, somehow, in his regular moving around, it came to him that Quando Rondo was looking for some L.A. to politic with, to have some comfort, and my, of course, he reached out to me, but I told cuz, keep it real, neighborhood to the neighborhood, Quando Rondo on Chris Street. I don't know who you was talking to, who you was reaching out to, but when the homie hollered at me, I told him, hell yeah. But when I went to follow up with whoever was getting at the homie, it didn't fall through. But uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to do that so you could see. I've never said this before. Even since Lil Pop lost his life, rest in peace, and his Quando Rondo name was in the uh, news, I've done reactions on my channel. I never talked about that. But I talked to the homie like when it happened, like it was like a couple months before Lil Pop got shot. I'm like, cuz, he was trying to set me up, joking, but that's how I broke the ice to like what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. So I want y'all to know, just shortly before Quando Rondo went through that, somehow him reaching out, trying to find some LA, Los Angeles allies the, it came across my wire from a real East Side Crip, and I didn't pass on it. I was gonna embrace Cuz. And believe me, it's not because I love him as much as I love us, and it's favor for a favor. You are in need. 
you are looking for something to utilize or use to fulfill a certain need. I am not above or beyond being used. I want to be used. I'm valuable. Anything that cannot be used is of no use, of no value, and you discard it. The only things you value, maintain, and try to keep around you are things that you can utilize or use. But what you ain't going to do is misuse me. Piggyback world. You want to be accepted out here in an environment where it's dangerous for you? You want to use me to help facilitate that? Of course, there's going to be some type of compensation in return to reciprocate the usage of me. You have to be of usage as well. Otherwise, you're misusing me. I kind of want to go back a little bit, man, because I had a couple more questions about the Quando Rondo, you know, publicly declaring that he was a neighborhood no more. You know, maybe he was just saying that to try to stay out of trouble. But hypothetically speaking, if somebody wanted to leave a gang, how hard would it be? See, the thing that used to make it so difficult is the fact that the gangs are based residentially where you live. So the gang is here, you stuck here as far as your, your living situation. It's kind of hard to duck your obligation that you had committed to. You gotta walk home from school, you gotta pull up, these dudes is gonna be around. Nowadays, the actual structure of the gangs are not really based like that. And even when it was based like that, leaving the gang and the way it's gonna go, it's unique every time based upon the person the hood you from and your status over there in that hood. Yeah, I, I you know, I was kind of like thinking that with Quando Rondo, like he might not have just, he might not have had to just announce it. He could have just. See, initially before I sat, before I, before I thought about it deeper, my perspective was he could walk away. However, he shouldn't have did it on the internet because it kind of makes it seem like your whole game bang career is everything we saw on the internet. It was all about the internet. Cause like I told you, shouldn't no active member of any type of illegal organization be on the internet on camera professing that that's who I am. Quando Rondo in particular, sad case, because you see what the brand of game bang in Los Angeles established has done to the world, to the youth. It's a germ, it's a disease. People that are not high profile like Quando Rondo have adopted it, gone through ups, downs, buffoonery, successes, and you never hear about it. He just got caught up, bro. He got caught up. This game banging ain't good for the local natives. So it ain't good for nobody who adopted it abroad. Definitely not for someone from abroad who adopted to be associated with one of the most treacherous brands of this and think that you finna come just think, there are actual entertainers from 60s that are bigger profile than Quando Rondo. On that spectrum, he's nobody to the game. They got Corrupt, Nipsey, Key to Rock, Big U. They been popping. You not nobody, even the fact that you popping, you nobody. And really, even though he popping, you not even popping. I promise you, if Cuz would have did something like been fortunate, lucky or wise enough to associate himself with one of these LA gangs that nobody never heard of, he probably could have had a way more successful experience. Last time we did the interview, uh, we talked about you and Nina Boy, uh, you know, settling your differences like men. And, and hopefully this will inspire more people to go ahead and just handle you like a man. Yeah, I don't believe that fighting is like this um, great remedy for um, navigating your way through issues. I don't think it's like healthy. However, as an alternative to taking someone's life, I believe it is like, you know, to be preferred. But I would like to see us as a culture to get to a level where we can get beyond conflicts without physically engaging one another because the issues typically only can be worked out with understanding and a change of understanding and approach. Fighting does not stop nothing unless you can beat someone into fear and submission to now have a different feeling about it. If you and I are disagreeing about anything and we consider ourselves friendly enough to try to work it out, 
if we utilize fighting, how does that change my opinion or position or thoughts on the subject that we were disagreeing about? The only way that could change it if I show you you can't f with me, so now you better agree with me. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon, so hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.